What up, y'all? It's your boy, Home Team here. I'm back at it with another video of African history, culture, and worldview. Today, I want to talk about King Narmer. Now, King Narmer is recognized as the first Egyptian pharaoh, and he's pretty much the unifier of Egypt. We know this because he pretty much didn't shut up about this. Like, this guy put inscriptions in the north, south, east, and west, and his palette is recognized to have the crown of Upper Egypt, and the crown of Lower Egypt. Like I said before, Upper Egypt was in Southern Egypt and Lower Egypt was in Northern Egypt. So pretty much Norma was trying to be like, I'm that dude. Now scholars are a little confused about who Norma really is because his story parallels with like two other dudes, King Menes and King Scorpion. No, not that King Scorpion, that King Scorpion. Side note, who wouldn't want to be associated with King Scorpion? Yes, the movie The Scorpion King is loosely based off of King Scorpion. This guy literally said, no, my name is not John. My name is not Andrew. My name is Scorpion. You're going to call me Scorpion. Now look, I'm not going to go hard on Hollywood this time. They tried. The Rock is a cool dude. Now Egypt's history is broken up into like three different parts. You have the Old Kingdom, the Middle Kingdom, and the new kingdom. Now, in popular culture today, we tend to focus on the new kingdom, you know, King Tut and Queen Nefertiti. But in the old kingdom, that's where stuff went down. That's pretty much when the pyramids were built. Now, granted, today we don't really know who built the pyramids, but we pretty much have a good idea. This guy named King Sneferu of Egypt in the old kingdom, he pretty much told us where he got the manpower from totally selfish dude basically what he did was he would purposely start a war with nubia and libya just so he can get war captives to build his pyramids wow now king sneferu is known for his red pyramid today but he also built many other pyramids in the area anyway king norma is known to be from the south or at least he's believed to come from the south and like I said, he's a unifier of Upper and Lower Egypt. And though he's confused with a lot of different dudes, King Scorpion, he's accredited with being the unifier of Egypt. Good job, Narmer. But it's interesting to know how this dude died. Pretty much the story goes a little like this. Now, Didorius Sicilius, a Greek historian, basically kind of wrote down what he heard from an Egyptian priest named Manetho. Now, apparently, King Narmer died because his hunting dogs turned on him. And while trying to escape, he was traversing through a river and got mauled by a hippopotamus. <laughs> nah, that's not funny. I mean, in ancient times, it definitely wouldn't have been funny. I mean, today, thousands of years later, it's definitely pretty hilarious. But I'm sure back then, it was, it was really serious. Now, I'm just playing. I'm sure one dude, just one was just rolling but yo guys i'm all out i hope you guys learned something about king norma today know thyself remember your ancestors peace